South Piala. Got pretty good sleep last night, finally, after three days on the trail. Just finished breakfast and trying to pack up and get out of here. We want to get out of here by 8.30. South Puyallup River has, I don't know the correct geological term for it, but here, let me show you. They have these rock formations. They call this uh, like the, the devil's pipes or the devil's organ. It is 8.55. We are out of camp. The plan for today, we're going up Emerald Ridge. So I think we have 1.8 and then we should be able to see the Tahoma Glacier. And then we head down that and continue down across uh, one of the rivers. We have uphill by a mile and a half to Indian Henry's. We will stop at the patrol cabin and get water, have dinner, get cleaned up. Uh, there's no water in camp. So we'll have to tanker for breakfast and coffee the next morning. And we should arrive at Devil's Dream. It's a beautiful morning for sure. Here's the water source from camp. It's about a quarter mile up. Natasha's gonna top off. Stopped at a flat spot for a snack break. We burned through breakfast coming up that one mile hill there. More trail talks since yesterday as the weather's been, is gonna turn this weekend. Pinged a friend of ours. Sure enough, it looks like Saturday through Tuesday, snow and rain and possible thunderstorms. Snow down to 55. We may, we're gonna have to decide to bail off or not because that's right where we're gonna be. Yeah, it's disappointing. No hiking and camping in the snow. There you go. Nope, not gonna do it. Coming into view. Spidey, spidey web. And that is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to South Yellow River. Look at this. This is what happens to the trail in the winter, water erosion. So the old trail went there. So we are actually going up the Emerald Ridge right now. You can see the difference. Fall rate is our motto going up this. <laughs> it might hurt, but you'll survive. If you fall left, it's like uh, 500 feet or so down. <laughs> it, that would hurt more. We think we were over there this way yesterday yeah, like when we came down the There's hill. There's a one burner coming up this, but we're coming into another park. Look at that view. Look at this. I mean, I'll say that this changing our schedule and yeah, I mean, it's just worked out perfect. So in 2009. This is what I missed, this view here. This was fogged, socked in. You couldn't see anything. And I am so grateful <laughs> that I get to see it this time. Oh, this glacier is so down here. Found a nice big rock. We got the tent out to dry. We are absolutely starving after that, that climb. So we're gonna have lunch here. We're gonna rest our feet, let our shoes air out. And we're gonna enjoy this lunch view. So for lunch we're having uh, tuna with some ranch dressing on tortilla and whatever else we can eat. But who cares? <clears throat> look at this. How can we look over here and here's this like wall. Now this is going to come out in the video but I just so happen to look south. It's a mountain hood down there. The little point. We can see that from here. Also, Propping our feet up. Makes your feet feel better. 
Right, we had a beautiful break here. Last view of the Tahoma Glacier. And we are gonna head down. That looks like rock is actually a glacier. It's just covered in dirt. See the river coming out of the glacier. Pretty cool. The trail down below. got on it's still rocky dirt but at least it's rocky dirt instead of rocky rock and it's cooler in the shade so still heading down i just came across the young lady she's heading up to north Puyallup, taking a break for a second in the shade we're back on rock path so here's the suspension bridge across the river and i didn't tell natasha about this because she doesn't like these things This is the park's longest suspension bridge, and I just can't remember the name of this river. All right, I'm across. I got to get cleaned up because I am full of spider webs. She's coming across. Mental preparedness of a gymnast. He really doesn't like these. Across the bridge. Steep climb. I won't film that. Oh, this is a tree root. It grew on top of the rocks. We just passed a trail runner who said he just crossed paths with a big, big black bear up by the patrol cabin. Look at this. Oh, the breeze coming off. That feels good. And then up here is a pool. That looks very inviting. It was a kick your ass. One, maybe two mile uphill climb. Man, I gotta tell you, I'm whooped after that. I think we're done with the uphill. Because we landed in this massive park. We stopped at the stream. Oh, I need to put my feet in there. My feet are sore after that uphill. Yeah, oh, that feels good. We're gonna collect water, have a new one, rehydrate. I just saw this big blister on my big toe. Didn't feel it, didn't have a hot spot. Yeah, there's gonna be some popping going on. Yeah, we had a nice break at our little creek there, soaked our feet. Um, that felt good. Took a bandana bath. Even better, we're having to the patrol cabin. For the dinner tonight, I'm gonna have mushroom pot pie. And Natasha is having red beans, greens, and coconut rice. We do have a water source here, a little pond. This deadbolt on this cabin. That's a deadbolt. So this meal here is, it's actually pretty tasty, but it's really spicy hot. And I'm not getting the whole spicy hot and everything we've eaten that we bought. How about this for a view? This is looking west. All right, we're leaving the cabin. We're even sitting here laughing because our packs, no matter, we, we've gone through the food and our packs still feel the same weight. All right, we're heading down this sign back there, so 1.2 to camp. at Devil's Dream, some of the first campsites. This campsite's different. Um, it actually, the trail runs through it where the other ones, you actually have to hike back to. Called our friend who's gonna bring our resupply in on Saturday, um, not called her, but sent her a text on the Garmin and asked her if she could come Sunday with the pending weather. We're gonna be right in the thick of it. So instead of risking uh, injury, blizzard or hypothermia, uh, we're gonna, go ahead and come off trail in Longmire tomorrow. So tonight is our last night uh, on the Wonderland Trail. Natasha, what do you think? <clears throat> About what? The hike. Oh, 
It was definitely difficult. Shoot, we were just talking. We were looking at the gas. We had five hours of moving time, and we had four hours of resting time. But I'll tell you what, that we had an hour and 45, two hours on top of Elmo Ridge. I wouldn't give that up for nothing. That was awesome today. Um, it was a good day hiking. Every day's been hard. Ended up with two blisters. And okay, tomorrow, uh, we'll get up. We're going to take a leisurely walk into Longmire and have lunch. And we actually have a room reservation. Like to point out, we got campsite three. So, bear pool. And then the toilet right there. So, pretty close by. Happy about to see this, but the mountain is lit up pink for the sunset. And this is gorgeous.